Hey everybody, welcome back to Hard for Games. I'm your host, Tony, and I was not expecting to have to talk about this today, but boom, I came home and some images popped up online on Assembler Games for an unreleased, unnamed Nintendo 64 add-on prototype. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys about it because I wanted to share my experience talking to the owner of this prototype about a year ago. So I have some additional information and an additional image to share. Let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, you've actually been able to find this prototype online for a while, but not photographs of it. It is actually a US patent 419199. And if you search that, you can find lots of information including some things that the unit was supposed to do. So what was this supposed to do? What was the purpose of this prototype? Well, I like to think of it as a sort of Satellaview 2.0. It had online connectivity, a hard drive, so you could, in theory, sort of do what the Satellaview could do or possibly do like an eShop sort of scenario where you could download uh, and retain games from the internet to your hard drive. It also had connectivity, sort of like a coaxial cable input on the back, which would allow interfacing with your cable TV. According to the patents, it was supposed to have picture-in-picture -picture technology, although I'm not entirely sure what else beyond that it was supposed to have in terms of interfacing with your television. There are some problems, though, because this thing was prototyped in 1999, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Think about the life cycle of the N64. 1999 was very late in that life cycle. So to develop and prototype something, again, prototyping, we're kind of at the beginning phases, right? That late in the game just doesn't make any sense, right? So in my mind, I think Nintendo was just experimenting. They never intended to release this. Because if you think about it, by the time they would have released this, the GameCube would have already been up and running. So I think they were just kind of playing around. That, that would be my best guess, to see if they could get something to work that maybe they could upgrade and implement for later systems down the line, like the Wii, right, the eShop. Now, my experience with this is as follows. I was actually in contact with the owner about a year ago and I was planning on purchasing it for three grand. That was the number that we had set upon. He actually lives in my state. I'm not gonna say where, of course, but I was planning on just going over there, giving him three grand and picking this thing up to showcase to all of you. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. We had agreed to a price and then he had disappeared. I think he just was no longer interested in selling it, which is sucks for me, sucks for us, because we could have seen it but it's his prerogative. Though if you're watching, offer's still on the table on my end. I'd, I'd still be very interested. Um, but what I was planning on doing was selling some of my games and systems and also doing a GoFundMe. So I actually did a, put up a GoFundMe page, made a video for it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link to the original video in the description below and you can see the upload date and all that stuff. Again, it was like 2017 sometime. And I was hoping to be able to get the funds to be able to purchase this. But again, he ghosted on me and just totally disappeared. There were actually a couple issues with the unit itself. So it didn't have the original power hookups. I was planning on talking to an electrical engineer friend of mine to be able to figure that out. Secondarily, it didn't have the hard drive. And chances were the operating system was on the hard drive. Could have been a situation like the N64DD where it can kind of boot up and go into a BIOS without a hard drive. But I think in this situation, it needed the hard drive so it would have been unbootable in, in this circumstance, which sucks. Which is also why I was offering three grand and not something higher because I was essentially going to be getting a brick <laughs> from this person. It would have been unusable. So when you see this, this image online, just understand that this thing probably does not work. That said, just wanted to share this brief story with you guys and kind of explain my experience with it. But thank you all for watching, subscribing. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and a share, and we will see you guys next time.